Now, this small kit review is of the BAE Hawk, the T1, the trainer, and this is the Red Arrows version, and uh, it's got a very nice box art. It's a 172nd scale model by Ravel, and uh, here are the dimensions, and uh, this is actually Ravel of Germany, which usually is better quality. Now, here's some pictures of the finished model, looks very nice, and... Uh, there's, there's the colors needed there. Let's have a look inside. So let's open up our sprues and have a look. So we've got our glass here with canopy with some very nice details here. You can see the uh, ejection explosives inside there. Uh, here's our windshield. So it's very nicely molded. Next we have uh, these all recessed panel and rivet lines. Very nice detail on the wings. There's our cockpit. Also looks great. Lots of detail there. Uh, here are the ejection seats. Incredible detail. Very intricate and well molded. We've got our main gear, main wheels and front nose wheel and um, here is our right fuselage also very nicely molded with some uh, recessed rivet and panel lines we've got our um, uh, wheel well covers here and uh, these are for the uh, cockpit this looks like this is probably for our nose nose uh, gear, maybe the back of the cockpit there, we've got our instrument panels very nicely molded. Here's our uh, elevator and uh, nose nose wheel or gear. Uh, probably air brakes there. Uh, here we have uh, looks like the pod maybe for um, the uh, I don't know what that's for. Let's look and see. Uh, over here we have our uh, left wing and uh, under wing. As we said, very nicely molded. We've got some uh, landing gear here. And uh, there's the left side of fuselage. Again, very nicely molded. Here is our um, uh, elevator. We've got our exhaust there. And uh, wheel well cover there. Air intakes, the other side of the air intakes there. And uh, here are the ejection seats from the front very nicely molded you can see we've got some seat belts molded in uh, we've got even uh, wow this is really nice this is you can see the wheel well detail there uh, not a lot of detail on the sides for the uh, cockpit though so we'll have to look and see on the instructions if there's anything else there and uh, here we have our instructions and decal guide so let's have a look at our decals here, if you can find them. So, um, actually very nicely printed decals with lots of little detail there. There's the uh, decals for the instrument panel. And then you can build different versions. Well, these are different numbers. They're um, the numbers of each of the individual planes. Now let's have a look at our instructions. So nice color instructions, don't always require that but it is uh, very nice to look at. And uh, so some sort of the instructions and uh, what the different icons mean. Okay, here are the colors needed with their uh, relevant numbers. And um, So, let's see here, 364, I'm looking for the English, and uh, there you go, leaf green silk mat, and uh, there's our parts listing, okay, so we start off with our uh, cockpit there, and uh, put our instrument panels in, 
a fair amount of detail here that goes into building this cockpit and uh, in our fuselage uh, we start to build the exhaust there and put our fuselage together with the cockpit air intakes go on there that uh, looks like the top of the fuselage we've got our vent, but that must be our, our ventral fins and maybe maybe there's an uh, air brake there, we'll have a look then our wings go together and uh, wings are mounted onto the fuselage our uh, elevator is put on and then uh, these are the actuators for our um, elevators and we should look the elevator ones are already on there so it's probably just for our flaps we start to build the main gear nose wheel and then wheel well covers and main gear there and we've got our, our wheels and tires going on and the uh, rest of the wheel well covers uh, central pod, I don't know if that's uh, something specific uh, I'm not sure if that's for fuel uh, or if it's something to do with the aerobatics that is the uh, air brake there and you can have it down or up and if you want to have your landing gear up you can do it that way and then our uh, windshield and canopy going on there you can have it open, I always like that because you can see on the inside all that great detail um, and uh, then we've got our um, nose pieces there and then this is for our um, diff three different colors, red, white and blue in the exhaust and here is the painting and decal guide and lots uh, of decals and uh, really really phenomenal model here so decals are great, molding quality is great, we've got lots of detail you want to get recess panel and rivet lines You've got great detail on the wheel well and the cockpit. I mean, this is all around a great model.